so yes good evening after a very long time we are having a speaker session i hope so you all are good and preparing for the september november exams nicely so today we are having a very 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 special person from the industry miss mega bhajanka she has recently qualified so pehle aisa hota tha na like we generally don't used to see uh, qualified actuaries right some of us might have chosen the path because uh, it was quite uh, like bahut jaldi dekhne ko nahi milta tha right koi bhi agar uh, aur koi bhi profession aap dekhoge aap doctor dekhoge you see a chartered accountant i am also a chartered accountant so bahut easy tha dekhna ghar pe mil jate the you see engineers but yes now with the increase in knowledge and yes super uh, uh professionals like mega they are uh, doing very nice in the industry and yes they have set an example that yes we can also do it in a time bound manner so ma'am you are most welcome today and uh, first of all uh can you please tell us something about yourself like what uh, encourage you to took to take this path yeah And sure how was the journey thank you so much priya so hi everyone first of all so as we already mentioned my name is meha vajinka so just to give a brief introduction about myself so i am basically from a like you know small town assam and the journey for this actually it started around when i was in class 12 so that was you know after 12th everyone is like you know you have to decide a course which you need to pursue so mostly in my hometown is all about ca but i had a special interest in maths so i want to pursue something different so that's when i started you know researching about what the courses that we can pursue after 12th and then i came across actuaries there was not much or new about it just and even then you know you wouldn't find a lot of information in google as well is very very you know basic information that you have if you have an interest in maths etc etc then you can pursue it so i decided to pursue that so it's uh, so then i got admission to zavers after my 12th results and uh, it's like on 28 june some all i landed in calcutta i think from second that i uh, zavers was about to start it was in 2016 and then from seventh that i i met praveen bhaiya and that's when i started you know with the first paper ct1 so that is the first step i was very nervous because uh, you know you, you of course you don't go through these professional exams before so with bhai we had a first session and then he gave the confidence ki nahi chalo abhi karna hai you know and we had our exams in september i think that was around 23 or 24 september like this so that's when you know it started we started preparing and i prepared for my first paper and that's the journey till uh, 6 july 2023 when 10:30 pm i finally got my results clear all the papers and yeah so that's how the journey has been of course we'll discuss more about it but yeah this is a brief of you know what it has been about okay so jaisa ki aap log sab ne dekha she is a graduate from st xavier's college become evening and first myth buster in today's series is we have so many students from uh, become background right uh in fact i am also from bcom so from next time if someone says you that uh, only math stats or eco grad they can do this course it's a, a wrong notion about this course right so mega how did you uh, balance your compulsory college because uh, i was also from the same college so uh, you know there was a, every day uh, we need to spend around 6 hours in the college so how was the journey like in your uh, graduation where uh, you cleared most of your uh, exams so as yeah, so essentially you know our college i think a lot of you might be from zavis bcom evening and if, even if morning you guys know the timings so it used to be around kind of 4 to 8 so my journey for the day used to be you know i uh, like before college you know i'll just take 15 minutes or get ready go to the college and then i would and one most important thing which i did during my college was to attend the classes very steadily 
बिकॉज आई थिंक ये होता होगा आई एम नॉट श्योर बट ऐसा होता है कि चलो यू नो बीच में यू टेंड टू स्टडी एक्चुअली और एनी अदर सब्जेक्ट आर पर्सिंग बट आई डेंट डू दैट आई वॉज वेरी फोकस्ड ऑन लाइक द कॉलेज क्लासेज दैट पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम इन ब्रेक आई यूज टू स्टिल मे बी रीड एक्चुअलीज बट अदरवाइज those four hours were entirely for college and that helped me a lot to balance my studies basically because you this compulsory college you have to you have to even score a good cgpa it's not that you you know you can just focus on your actually so that's how i used to manage it that was essentially yeah so okay so my uh, next question to you is uh, we are uh, roughly 125 persons here and i know many will be uh, taking the recording of this uh, very insightful session so mega can you please uh, tell us what uh, separates the uh, crowd those who are unable to crack uh, the last two to three exams persons like me and uh, what has motivated you to uh, take exams every attempt so uh, what do you feel is the role of consistency in these uh, professional courses so i actually have a very good story around my journey to share with you guys so um... like as i as i told that you know initially i appeared for cd1 i cleared it the results were out in december i took the membership from ifoi and at that point of time around 2016 to 2019 we had these exemptions from both ii and ifoi so the next step you know it started when this was my second paper ct3 which is now cs1 actual statistics and along like on the same time there was acet as well so this is a journey of failure and how you know what has led me to that was a very landmark moment in my life so i would just want to tell you how it went so the first was of course after clearing cd1 started for cd3 so that was an april attempt april 2017 although it was a big uh, like a longer attempt but i decided to take just one paper because i had my brother's marriage etc in between and uh, the college was also you know kind of new so and i also appeared for acet i think around maybe somewhat in march i don't remember exactly but yeah somewhat feb or march but the results the results were scheduled to be out just a day before my cd3 exam and so the essentially uh, so that time you know you didn't know the ii results like nowadays they give you the dates but earlier you didn't know about the dates so when that is is it result was about to be out so it's just a day before my cd3 exam and we were not aware of the dates so sham ko i think i came back from college and uh, the results were announced and i did not clear that and i did not know this so praveen bhaiya in short कि वो कहीं ग्रुप में नहीं जाए कि रिजल्ट्स आ गए एंड दैट आई डोंट गेट टू नो अबाउट इट सो दैट आई डोंट यू नो रून माय सीटी थ्री एग्जाम बिकॉज आई इज वेरी वेल प्रिपेयर्ड एंड ही उन्हें बहुत ट्राई किया शॉ करने का सो यू ऑल नो शिवांगी मैम सो शी वॉज माई फर्स्ट एक्चुअल फ्रेंड वी स्टार्टेड दिस टुगेदर एंड इवन शी एंड फ्यू अदर फ्रेंड्स कारण एक्सेट्रा यू नो दे ऑल ट्राई टू इन शॉ कि मेरे को नहीं पता चले बट इट वॉज डेस्ट इन प्रॉब्लम कि मेरे को पता चल गया दैट आई डिड नॉट क्लियर and i was just you know kind of crying the because that was like the first fail i ever had in my life after you know all a lot of us come with uh, you know that type of like bahut acha were they to help me top original topper etc and that was the first failure so it was very difficult for me to accept that at that point and the next day i went for my cd3 exam of course but i you know i broke down in between the exam hall so i knew i wasn't going to clear it but yeah you, you still wait for the results so after clear like after pure for cd3 then i started with my cd6 prep but i was you just hope for clearing it but uh, somewhere you know that you might not clear it so then it was the day of cd3 results and uh, i did not clear it and praveen bhaiya he was and you all know like i have like results they uh, come out on 10 30 11 pm he was there with me on call for an hour to console me because i was he knew how sensitive or emotional i was so uh, i think praveen Praveen Patwari and Praveen Sanjeevi, uh, these two were the one you know to like. And Praveen was especially was just consoling me all the time. He, no, and when the results came, they they were calling him that we have cleared it. But he, you know, he just knew maybe what the moment was for for me, and he was there with me and my other friends as well. And post that, that was uh, so. Of course, it took me you know few days to come out of this. But that day was very important when I had people around me, the right people around me. who gave me that motivation and after 2 3 days i was like theek hai ab ho gaya i have to pick up myself so i st- i just did not keep ct3 for the next attempt and it was a coincidence that acet i think earlier it used to happen either once or twice in a year but on that very year for class 12 students they announced that acet will again be you know held in may which was very unusual this was the first time 
I decided to appear for it. So no one knew about this attempt of appearing for ASIT. And in the month of June, I got my results. I called to Veen Diya, ASIT is done. And he was like, Kab diya, kya diya? I was like, Although I just told this to myself that I will give my best. I cleared ASIT. I took uh, the membership from IAI. I appeared for CT3. I appeared for CT6. Uh, I cleared both. And the next year was a roller coaster when I cleared five papers. You can effectively count it to be four. One was CT9. I cleared CT4, CT5, CT8, and CT7. And then there was the last year of the college, 2019 April, when I appeared for CT2 and I got done with my CT series before, like by in three years of college. That's that's really great. Just like that, I mean, I always say that if you ever get a loss, you don't need to be angry. मतलब that was one of the great things क्योंकि शायद इसी दिन के लिए भगवान ने इसको फेल किया था कि भाई आज बहुत सारे स्टूडेंट्स ऐसे हैं जो लोग पहले पेपर में फेल हो जाते हैं एंड दूसरे पेपर में फेल हो जाते हैं एंड दे फील लाइक ये कोर्स मेरे लिए नहीं है आप सोचिए एसेट में उसका नहीं हुआ एंड देन दिस इज व्हाट बाउंस बैक इज ऑल अबाउट राइट एंड एक कहावत मैं बोलना चाहूंगा कि द मास्टर हैज Failed more times than the novice has tried because yes, आपके भी जब towards the end आप जाओगे papers में it's like कि ऐसा जरूरी नहीं है कि सारा papers आपका one go में हो. What's more important कि आपको हर term में paper देना है and that is what she has basically concentrated and yes, uh, like uh, talk about me, talk about my friend Praveen Sancheti. It's a uh, it's totally dependent on the candidate कि भई हम लोग बोलते तो हजारों को है. But only few they follow the guidelines की नहीं, they are very focused कि मेरे को ये वाला एकदम पूरा करना ही है, चाहे कुछ भी हो जाए, चाहे इस तरह में fail हो, pass हो, मेरे को ये है कि भाई मेरे को पांच साल में course को खत्म करना है, and basically कोई भी वैसा problem नहीं है, ठीक है ना आपको बस consistently papers देते रहने, so I will not take much time. Mega, what advice you would like to give to all the youngsters, those who are in third years and they are looking out for jobs? And how did you land up to your uh, first job? Like, uh, can you please guide us something on that? Yeah. So essentially, as I told you, April by the April uh, 2019 April, I uh, appeared for my like last CT paper, and then uh, after that, I started preparing for my exams. So it was around, uh, I think around for May and June was the month when all I I, I did a lot of interview preps. I read through every information that is available, you know, on Google, on other websites, and whatever information you can gather. Uh, revising. So since I had a huge list of papers, I tried to focus on the major papers to revise at that point because major ones are CM1, uh, CS, CS1, CM2, and uh, like CS2. So essentially, now what I the strategy that I followed at that point of time was so. It depends on the interview that I'm giving in a life insurance company or a GI company. So you know the important papers for a life company will be CM1. CS1 would be for all, uh, for every company essentially. And if it was GI company, I focused on CD4 and CD6. And of course, and one more thing is the paper that I've recently cleared. So let's say there was the questions were asked on CT2 because I just recently appeared for it. So you know they essentially try to test kita ya the paper for ke baad and everything. So that's how I prepared for my interview with all the information that I with my papers etc and so it was the first interview was in a LI life insurance company and uh, I think a lot of question that comes around for people what I have also you know heard from people is which to decide GI or life so uh, I or pension maybe you know that depends upon your interest but uh, उस टाइम लाइक एट दैट पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम व्हेन 2018-19 देवर नॉट अ लॉट ऑफ जॉब अपॉर्चुनिटीज सो इट वाज वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू गेट द जॉब ऑफ योर चॉइस अभी इट्स अ लॉट द मार्केट द स्कोप हैज इंक्रीज्ड अ लॉट सो आई थिंक इट्स ग्रेट फॉर यू गाइस एट दिस पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम so at that point of time, essentially, I appeared for one of the interviews in Light Company that wasn't really very great for me, and I was more inclined to GI side. So my next interview was on GI side, which was maybe around you know June 2019. So I had around three four rounds. Uh, I cracked it, and finally I uh, landed in my first job. But that for like essentially landing into that involves a whole lot of preparation and revising your and knowing the concepts and revising it thoroughly before interview as well. So, Mega, my next question is: since you have worked in the GI sector almost close to four years, so can you please uh, tell us how the GI sector is all about and? Uh, as uh, you must be knowing very nicely about the lines of business 
and tell us briefly like how does the gi sector look like so that if our students are also sometimes at that point of time they need to uh, basically choose one path so they will have at least some idea and they will basically try to research on those lines yeah so let's say uh, one of the strategy with related to gi just uh, mentioning on this part so i knew there was a gi company i'm appearing for so i read about that company i researched about i went to their website i checked the products that they're offering uh, you know what the coverage is etc and i went through it in quite in detail so that because essentially they would be hiring me for one of those right working on one of those products either pricing reserving etc so i need to know about what the company is offering and they have to know about me that i have a good knowledge about the product and in general about insurance so in general you know the gi industry it involves uh, basically the motor insurance health insurance very intuitive and very you know very relatable to the insurance we usually purchase so motor insurance let's say third parties mandatory cover health insurance fire travel insurance property so all are these you know kind kind of the lines of business that you have and essentially you would be you know chosen for one of the products not necessarily so it might be that there's a combined team in a so it also differentiates between the core and the consultancy so what i'm talking first about is a core industry where you have essentially let's say a business unit of motor insurance health insurance travel or miscellaneous is also there which involves mobile cyber insurance etc so you get you get hired for one of those and then you have a role of either pricing reserving or let's say capital modeling capital modeling it's still a kind of it's not there in every company so there are specific companies towards it but pricing and reserving is what generally every insurance company would have so i am from more of a pricing uh, so my first 3 years were in pricing and the recent one year has been uh, has been to reserving so in pricing you know essentially it involves the entire idea of how you, how a market research of a product starts the need of a product in a market starts and then um, let's say you go about the entire process of pricing product development filing it with the regulator because any product that you file you have to ensure that you know that is filed with the regulator you get the authority to essentially sell that product by the insurance company so it involves a pure cycle of that and that's how you get involved in the role of basically pricing how how you calculate the premiums that is essentially the role of an actuary over there okay that was uh, that was uh, really very good so mega my uh, next question to you since you have uh, qualified as a gi actuary so can you please tell us something about the sp level papers like uh, something about sp7 sp8 and sa3 so uh, in our viewer base we have uh, many uh, aspirants those who are going to take up these exams and uh, what is the strategy that one should go about in sp level exams and jo students college mein unko bhi ye lagta hai that sp level is something jo ki aage ja ke fatne wala hai and uh, to uske bare mein some knowledge sure so as a heck you know these papers these are specialization papers are quite tough to crack but essentially you know you need to know the right strategy to study those papers so so you know you have to distinguish between let's say in uh, when we get the examiner's report and we see that uh, let's say for an sp7 or sp8 the pass percentage is around 30 to 40% and you have to ensure that you are in that 30 to 40% so what essentially goes around studying those papers is everyone has that material everyone is going to study it but you need to differentiate your study techniques and you need to be very consistent with those exams because you essentially appear for those exams with job it's not like i haven't faced failure in sp level papers i have faced failure in like sp8 is one of the toughest to crack i believe i i found it even tougher than sp7 despite having a 3 year work ex in pricing so for me when i was studying sp8 it was way too intuitive for me i i i knew always like a lot of things because i was into pricing background i was very i was involved in every regulatory part etc so everything was very relatable to me but with the knowledge that you have you also need to know the right strategy to crack these exams so pass paper practice is one of the most important thing that i did uh, to and essentially you know first you have to take a good read of the book you know about the content going through the syllabus objectives even that is very important ki you need to know what the subject is around because koi bhi question aayega so one important thing is to know whenever there is a question from which chapter it is because it involves a lot of chapters you might find something very relatable first chapter mein ye tha second mein also you find relatable but when ever it's in the exam you need to know which chapter it is from you need to be very thorough with the past papers and in examiner's report you know essentially when you go through it when you go through a lot of it 
you will know that these are the common things you know which they write in the examiner's report one is general point one is specific points general points is something you have to develop while going through the past papers and specific is a skill which you will understand how to tailor the questions according to how to tailor your answers according to the questions and this is essentially what is tested a lot in sp level papers and let's say in sp you know they would still give you some background in sa3 you won't have a lot of background in the question because they expect that you know when you have the right uh, experience you you know which thing to answer you know which thing you would essentially try to investigate let's say in a question so that is how you have to develop your strategy for these papers 360 degree view that is what she is talking about in sa level exams because by that time you closely have minimum 3 years of experience right so uh, my next question to you dekh lo sab log aise hi dikhte hain fellows like they are very normal persons those who are in uh, bangalore they can uh, spot her maybe tomorrow morning only so uh, yes so mega uh, how do you feel like uh, no more april and september for you and in the next uh, coming december you will see uh students they post about uh, their success when they pass the exam in linkedin so but you you might also feel that i should check my result also but uh it's done right so how do you feel now so essentially you know that feeling is it's it's one of the amazing feelings like you know when you see those pass everything like so it was a seven year of a journey for me lot of sacrifices etc and everything at that point feels worth it you you know it takes time to sink in but yeah, even now sometimes i feel like okay it's done i don't have to study anymore i i can maybe enjoy and relax on my weekends so yeah essentially it's a very great feeling and like i would be so happy to see each one of you qualifying and and this one line you know which uh, somebody said and i just absolutely love this line that you know each and every one of you is a future fellow actually if not already one so whenever you know i saw someone qualifying i and i knew them i wish them personally and you know they told me see you see you too soon you know qualifying and essentially uh, you know that journey has come to an end of course it starts with the new things new challenges etc but yeah the feeling is amazing so i would just say enjoy this journey you might face failures which which is essentially a part of it you know if you don't face you won't really get to know how the sweetness of this is essentially about the failures there are so many more times you know whenever let's say i as i mentioned that sp8 is what i it took me you know one two attempts to clear it so at that point of time i just remember that a set in ct3 if i could you know go through that then this should this should be really easy for me bas aage se kabhi bhi agar tum log fail ho to yahi sochna ki ted talk develop ho raha hai bas aur kuch bhi nahi ho raha because yes bahut hi simple ho jayega agar sara ekdam because wo worth it nahi lagega na एक्चुअल में वो वर्थ इट नहीं लगेगा सो मेगा वॉट डू यू फील लाइक इन द लास्ट सेवन ईयर्स यू मैं सैक्रीफाइसिस सो वॉट इन टर्म्स ऑफ सैक्रीफाइसिस यू हैव डन पीपल हु नो यू क्लोजली दे नो वॉट वॉट यू हैव डन इन टर्म्स ऑफ सैक्रीफाइसिस वेन वेन वन वर्क इन द वीकेंड ऑल्सो वेन यू गेट सैटरडे एंड संडे ऑफ बट इट्स नॉट एन ऑफ फॉर यू बिकॉज यू नीड टू स्टडी राइट when others go out party in college pressures but you need to study so what sacrifices uh, it needs uh, to become a fellow so yeah again it would individually depend on a person but essentially i had this focus i had this goal about you know and it was a lot for my family that i wanted to do because i really wanted to make them feel proud so so the you know in college of course everyone goes out for partying and it's there but i just knew you know when the exams are there i was and i'm a morning person so i need to ensure that i sleep you know timely so i can get up i used to get up around let's say 5 5:30 am in the morning i used to study take a break and then again so i was in morning uh, i was in become evening so essentially that's how i managed my time and the sacrifices and so let's say i think praveen bhaiya knows that in diwali i told that i won't go to home because meko padhai karna jaldi aa jana so i essentially you know at the college ke time pe then all you know your family just starts pampering you they they are like okay just relax and all but i needed to ensure that i'm done with my syllabus and after ct3 it was i was way more focused i think because you know that tells you that there is there are other parts to it and you have to focus and the journey was you know it's a long journey so essentially without focus and without sacrifices it would essentially become more uh, long for you 
so and you know maybe you know not visiting my family very often i missed a lot of family functions and all but yeah that that all just felt worth it to me it also depends on individual but yeah where you feel that it's not really important just think about the moment that you know when you get your results that pass what is what you know you can compare your happiness basically would you be more happy going out this date with your friends or maybe on a, on a family function which is not really important or seeing a pass on your result day okay so mega uh, we all have faced it right like bahut uh, sare uh, ekdam young aspirants hain yahan par is course mein ek point of time to aisa aata hai like uh, once you start job and in your and you are in your first year of your job you need to basically impress your seniors एंड जहां पर आप देखते हो कि आपका पेपर्स क्लियर नहीं हो रहा है बाकी सबका हो रहा है तो आपको ऐसा फील होता है मन में कि यार मैंने कुछ गलत किया क्या मेरा क्यों नहीं हो रहा है सो व्हाट व्हाट एडवाइस यू वुड लाइक टू पुट इन टू आर स्टूडेंट्स की उस टाइम पे जो फील होता है कि यू फील स्टक इन दिस कोर्स की आगे नहीं बढ़ रहा है कुछ भी इट्स नॉट इट्स नॉट गोइंग फॉरवर्ड एंड आई एम गेटिंग स्टक सबके में होता है मतलब बींग वेरी ऑनेस्ट मेरे संग भी हुआ है वो चीज एंड वो स्टक वाला फेज तो आता ही है सात साल या फिर आठ साल जो भी लग जाए डेढ़ दो साल का तो वो एक फेज सबका में आता ही है सो हाउ डिड यू ओवरकम दैट सो या असेंशली देयर वाज अ सिमिलर फेज फॉर मी एज वेल बिकॉज़ यू नो गोइंग विद अ सीटी सीरीज क्लियर दैट वाज अ बिग डील एट दैट पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम आजकल होता है कि यू नो आजकल ऑल इंफॉर्मेशन अवेलेबल है यू हैव द राइट पीपल टू यू नो टीच यू गाइड यू दैट टाइम thoda wo tha but i i was lucky i luckily had praveen bhaiya and like with me so essentially you know after going there then there was one term which i skipped because i was just settling in bangalore it was very difficult to you know study and and i didn't know which paper to take next because ct series ho gaya tha cp2 cp1 ye sab ke bare mein itna tab nahi pata tha and there was a moment you know a year around where i gave two attempts but it did not really you know work out and again you know after clearing that wapas wo ana but that is what i told you know because i had a failure earlier i knew that i had to get up and i knew i would so whenever you know you see people clearing in your own organization or your friends just be happy for them of course learn from them ask them maybe what they did right and you can probably learn from it and focus on yourself this journey is all about you how you get through it don't really you know if if at all you want to think about others clearing just think in the most happiest way and ask them how they did it maybe you know you would get essentially one two tips which might just help you in clearing so that is this is journey with you so just know that you have to get over this uh, and do not don't get affected by any negativity of any sort let's say people try to tell you something so just don't get affected by it at all that's what essentially i did nobody really was mean to me but you know there have been few moments when people would think ki acha iska nahi ho raha hai college mein to ho gaya waise but so yeah my result was an answer So, yes, जैसा कि मैं आप लोग सबको गाइड करता हूँ कि ये सब ओवर क्वालिफिकेशन ये सब सब बकवास है हाँ. लोग आपको बोलेंगे कि दो पेपर करके जाइए तीन पेपर करके जाइए बट यस ऐसा कुछ भी नहीं है आप जितना पेपर क्लियर कर सकते हैं आप करिए ठीक है ना आप वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट आज का क्वालिफाइड पर्सन दे विल ऑलवेज गिव यू द राइट एडवाइस ठीक है ना तो ये एक चीज है तो मेगा ये कोर्स एक फनल की तरह है आई विल नॉट स्ट्रेच मच अबाउट माय क्वेश्चंस लिस्ट आई विल कट इट शॉर्ट ये कोर्स एक फनल की तरह है आप देखते हो आपके फ्रेंड्स जो थे या फिर मान लो कोई भी आपका जो बैच था या फिर जो भी आप आसपास कॉलेज फर्स्ट ईयर में देखते थे वेरी फ्यू कम आउट ऑफ दिनल अंदर तो बहुत लोग घुसते हैं वेरी फ्यू दे कम आउट ऑफ दिनल एंड माई टीचिंग हिस्ट्री मैंने पांच से भी ज्यादा बच्चे पढ़ाए होंगे ओके सो आज के दिन पे अगर आप देखोगे ऐसा नहीं कि बहुत खराब पढ़ाता हूँ बट स्टिल वट एवर इज द रीजन मैं खराब पढ़ाया उनको नहीं समझ में आया वो लोग छोड़ दिए फेल हो गए जो भी बट क्वालिफाइड पर्सन बहुत कम है वट चैलेंजेस यू फील कि भाई एक जन के राह में आने वाली एक जन के रस्ते में आने वाली है अगर आप आज हम लोग को बता दो ऐसे तीन चार तो क्या होगा ये लोग संभल के चलेंगे राइट सो वन थिंग क्लियरिंग पेपर्स यू नो initially when when you are in college i think a lot of you might be in college so guys please give your best foot forward to clear these papers because job ke baad it's very difficult there is no concept of over, over qualification that is an absolute myth because i went with nine papers at that point of time there was no question around why nine papers it was uh, of course a good point that i had nine papers because like agar main you know do teen paper ke sath jaati this journey would have been even longer because with job 
you have to put in especially like in the first year you have to of course impress your seniors you have you know you would have your self respect also that you have to maintain you have to put in your best effort and you would essentially like working so it would be very difficult for you to you know you'll be just confused ki after let's say office you might want to look back at some work and probably understand it better or you would want to study so there's a conflict that comes you have your weekends to yourself but even those are you know not essentially very enough for it and you have to be very consistent so one important thing is try to clear as many as papers you can when you're in college of course for very high level papers with work ex it helps but it, it you know you will always have that work ex you will keep learning and you for qualification you essentially need 3 years of work ex so you cannot even get that degree before that but try to clear like ct series is bare minimum try to clear as much as you can in college as that will help you a lot you know with your job like it'll help you progressing in your job as well not just that you'll qualify early or you will be able to appear for cpsp paper levels earlier but it'll help you progress with your job you don't really have to worry about the ct series so yeah i think that is one of the biggest thing which i felt i felt myself lucky to have cleared at that point of time you know ct series meko the value pata nahi tha ki this is what you know it will be it'll help me so much later on that uh, ct series cleared so i'll be more relaxed about it but yeah this is essentially one of the major things that i felt okay so mega uh, like we talked about the papers a lot can you please uh, guide us that what soft skills uh, should be there on the cv at the point of uh, taking a job so that it becomes easier ki hamare upar spotlight aaye uh, recruiters ka so essentially you know in terms of soft skills i think one very important skill is communication that is one of the most important skills that you need in, in the industry you you have to ensure that what you might have you might not know everything about a topic even nowadays it's not like you know everything about a topic the lot more information is developing but you have to ensure that whatever you know you are communicating this in the right way <laughs> that you know so that we know that the upward performance is found to be yes so yeah essentially you have to ensure that you are able to communicate what you know to the interview very effectively because what would happen you know essentially after going to a job you do a piece of work you have to maybe make an audit trail around it i think cp2 students can relate to it making an audit trail and that's that actually you know you need to write all those things what you have done the steps performed because it's also possible that you know you might be uh, leaving the organization and the manager would ask you that for the other person who comes you know you have to prepare an audit trail or for anybody if you're going on leave there's somebody else who wants to understand or pick up your work you have to write an audit trail for it so essentially excel audit trails these are very important skills and on the soft skill part uh you have the communication is one of the most important and you have to ensure calmness whenever you work initially you know with youngsters i have seen when i was let's say with three after three years of work ex i have seen youngsters coming so it is very important to be calm in those situations you know because there would be a lot of work pressure try to manage everything calmly so if you are able to you know manage that with calmness everything gets sorted out so yeah essentially but a major focus on communication please try to ensure that you develop very clear communication you're very fluent with what you say so yeah that's one of the most important skill so yes uh, i'll open the house for questions with just one line mega respects me a lot my friend pravin sancheti a lot uh, so usne starting ka to bata diya ki pravin bhai the wagera wagera but aaj hum log dekh rahe hain ki 5 saal baad 6 saal baad she has qualified but beech ka usne kuch bhi nahi bataya pura struggle wo beech ka hi hai theek hai na start karana hum log ka responsibility hota hai but end insaan khud hi karta hai ठीक है ना एक सर्टेन पॉइंट ऑफ टाइम पे इसलिए इट्स इट आई ऑलवेज से कि भाई वो स्पून फीडिंग वाला चीज नहीं करना है ट्रेनिंग बहुत लोग को ये रहता है कि आई शुड डू ऑन सेल्फ बट यू शुड ट्राई ऐसा कुछ भी नहीं है कि सारा पेपर्स का ट्रेनिंग लेना इज कंपलसरी आप खुद से भी ट्राई कर सकते हो वो जो सारा जो स्ट्रगल है ना वो बीच का ही है पहला दो तीन पेपर हो गया और उसके बाद वो वो बहुत डिफिकल्ट है मतलब वो ही वो ही स्ट्रगल है सारा ठीक है जॉब के साथ मैनेज करना आठ दस घंटे का जॉब उसके संग डेली चार घंटा पढ़ना कंसिस्टेंटली पढ़ना सात मैं तो बोलूंगा सात साल जो दिया है सात साल दिया है डेली पांच घंटा करके दिया है कोर्स को पांच से छह घंटा मिनिमम दिया है तभी जाके आज वो हो रहा है ठीक है ना तो वो वो ऐसे नहीं बनता है ठीक है इट्स इट टेक्स लॉर्ड ऑफ हार्डवर्क एंड जस्ट हार्डवर्क हार्डवर्क एंड हार्डवर्क नथिंग एल्स सो येस नाउ दाउस इज ओपन फॉर क्वेश्चन आई जस्ट टेक आई रीड आउट फॉर यू मेगा ओके एंड इफ पॉसिबल आई एल आंसर ऑफ यू 
which field within actuarial science has more scope gi or life uh, would you like to answer yeah essentially both has its own uh, you know pros so uh, like cons essentially it, it's about you know working so essentially pros and cons hone but it's about your interest like i said cm1 cs2 ye papers hai which will which will let you know you know which which is more interesting for you so the one which you like go for it both has great scope in the industry okay. yeah i'll also like to add aisa kuch bhi nahi hai ye jo question hai arvin ki gi li pension like abhi hum log ek session karane wale hain pensions ke upar mein where the person uh, is very eager ki bhai logo ke man mein aisa bias kyu hai pensions ko leke he is going to clear all your queries regarding pensions ki aisa bilkul bhi nahi hai theek hai na aisa bilkul mat sochi ki life mein zyada hai general mein zyada hai waisa bilkul bhi nahi hai definitely uh, general mein agar aap dekhoge lines of business bahut zyada hai When, क्योंकि लाइफ में क्या होता है एक ही टाइप का रहता है बट उसमें भी बहुत सारे टाइप के प्रोडक्ट्स रहते हैं ठीक है ना एंड हर इंसान अपना एलआई कराता है ठीक है सो डेफिनेटली हर फील्ड में स्कोप है आपको बस खाली फोड़ना है दैट 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 द थिंग ओके एंड मैंने ये भी देखा है कि आफ्टर अराउंड टेन ईयर्स ट्वेल्व ईयर्स ऑफ एक्सपीरियंस उसके बाद में आपको इतना आइडिया हो जाता है इंडस्ट्री का लाइक सम ऑफ देम लाइक माई प्रिंसिपल ही है स्टार्टेड इज ओन uh startup so basically now he does both la li gi everything like he is now into consulting okay so that that is the thing so uh, next question is uh I, i'll request all of you to please put it on the chat box it will be easier would you advise opting for uk university programs or giving exams from ifo only is there any specific advantage see i'll i'll i'll, I'll answer that jo aapka jo masters jo hota hai one year ka i hope so aap uske bare mein baat kar rahe hain it is definitely fruitful if you have the financial resources uh, you know it's quite expensive right but you have the financial resources definitely it's a good thing aapka jo ek exposure wala jo baat aata hai wo usme kafi acha aata hai theek hai na and agar aapko lagta hai nahi yaar mere ko job leke mere ko ifo se exam dena chahiye to dono ka ekdam wo hai but yes definitely ek above edge rehta hai but ye mindset se kabhi mat jaiyega ki wahan ja ke aapko job milega आना वापस आपको इंडिया में ये बता भी याद रखिएगा ठीक है ना ऑल आर फेक प्रोमिस की वहां जॉब लग जाता है एक्सेट्रा वैसा कुछ भी नहीं है लाइक like, आज के दिन पे अगर आप बेस का बात करोगे वहां पर अगर 80 जन का है तो वहां पर 15 बच्चे हमारे पढ़ रहे ठीक है तो इंडियंस है वहां पर मतलब बोलने के अंदर हाई प्रपोर्शन वहां पर इंडियंस का है ठीक है ना नाउ इंडिया इज दी हब आप ये समझ लीजिए यूके के बाद में यूएस के बाद में इंडिया अब एक हब बन चुका है एक्चुअली इसका ठीक है जितने भी सारे आप देखोगे के है ये सब इंडिया में स्टेब्लिश हो रहे हैं ठीक है तो so डेफिनेटली आप जा सकते हो अगर आपको ये है कि नहीं भाई मेरे को एक साल में जाके पढ़ के सब कुछ खत्म करना चाहता हूँ इट्स अ गुड थिंग कोई कोई उसमें प्रॉब्लम नहीं है ठीक है ना लोग बोलेंगे जॉब के एक्सपीरियंस लेके जाओ वैसा उसमें कुछ भी नहीं है आप जाना चाहते हो आप जा सकते हो कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं ठीक है मेगा दिस इज फॉर यू डू पीपल लैंड अप गेटिंग जॉब इन कोलकाता Yeah, I think for Abhi ke liye in Calcutta there's a lot of scope right now. I think EY is one of the you know big forces that hiring really like they are hiring a lot now. So yeah, essentially now there is opportunities in Calcutta. So few people who are based out of Calcutta, you know, you can essentially go for that. It's more effective. You are near your hometown. You focus on your studies maybe better when you are in your uh, when you are essentially in your hometown. So yeah, like now there are a lot of PWC is also there. So yeah, I think big four as Also said now in Calcutta. I'd also like to add that uh, one of the biggest uh, GI companies, National Insurance, is also in mm-hmm. Calcutta. Great firm to work like in terms of career prospects, in terms of salary. Okay, so we often tend to look PSU. Hey, so what? That's it. It's totally amazing. Okay, so uh, National Insurance uh, is one of the uh good options now they are uh expanding their actuarial team okay so basically they are uh hiring uh, uh more and more apprentices and definitely a very good core company if you want a job in kolkata but it's not so easy to get into it you need a minimum of five papers or four papers to get into the company definitely after you crack the interview okay Uh, how many years of internship is needed mega this is for you basically the candidate is trying to ask uh, for fellowship uh, for fellowship you need 3 years of uh, work ex minimum 3 years of work ex okay now the next question is in terms of career prospects do you feel limited or like you have been pushed into a narrow niche can you 
easily transition to other careers like data science or investment banking or other i like to answer that uh, anupam i i don't feel that uh, we have been pushed into a narrow niche because in an actual uh, company if you see in an in an insurance company or in a uh, consulting company if you see it's not only about one uh, division of work that we are doing it's uh, it's about it's about uh, shareholder reporting it's about pricing it's about reserving like these uh, like the investments team is there okay the risk team is there the modeling team is there okay there are more more uh, divisions that uh, that work uh, so like uh, like uh, if you talk about the transition definitely we are very good with uh, softwares like uh, sql is there vba is there we are very very efficient in excel okay and with the advent of coding and like uh, data visualization softwares like power bi i feel that uh, it's it's not uh, like um, a very big uh, problem if we want to shift to the data domain but yes if you feel uh, transitioning to fields like investment banking i'll say uh, the banking and the uh, like the risk uh, from the finance point of view they, that field is uh, developing like the institute has introduced sp10 which is uh, related to banking okay and in the sp level papers you have sp5 sp6 ss7 if you want to specialize in that domain i'm specializing in that and yes there are good number of persons those who are doing a uh, specialization in finance okay so it's not like that i i i personally feel uh, it it it's not like that okay so it, it's not like that and if you talk about transition I, I don't feel i don't see a point to transition because the pay scale now is very good like a fresher actually i feel on uh, a lower end on a prudent end they are getting 30 lakhs per annum okay so if they have four years of work experience then it's a very good number okay if you if you compare with a i am grad like after college they are spending two years in college and that too if they get at the first time only in uh, i am top 10 like maybe in the top 10 mba colleges so uh, they have two years of uh, total experience if you compare with a fresher actually who is having four years of experience and in comparison to the investment if you see uh like ca and actuaries uh take very less amount of investment when comparing it to uh, maybe engineering or maybe mba okay so it's like that yeah kanishk is having a query uh consultancies or bpo or insurance company which is better so essentially this is again you know uh i wouldn't really want to comment on which is better because it's all you know it's about your personal choice but yeah what you what you can experience is essentially working in one of those and if that suits you if you like the working environment then it's all right if not you know you can always take us it's not difficult to switch between uh, industry consultancy or ppo so yeah uh, mega can we agree on a common point like uh, if a student wants to start with and given a choice of a big mnc and a core company i would always uh, uh like to go with a core company from learning point of view and then like once you have gained a good amount of experience uh maybe after 3 years after 4 years then uh if you want to shift to a, a consulting company it will be good from learning point of view yeah essentially from learning point of view i would agree that so what happens you know when i was talking about core i did mention that you involved in each and every you know you had a 360 degree view of the business of the organization so when you read cp1 you will get to know that is a 360 degree paper that teaches you every aspect of uh, you know about insurance and other uh, like external environment etc so yeah in that terms when you go into insurance company you essentially learn about every team that is there so you know stakeholders may essentially you get you deal with all the stakeholders directly so yeah from a learning point of view it's it's very helpful okay so it it's not like the big uh, big four companies or like uh, top 5 top 6 companies they don't have the learning uh, curve but uh, it's like they they also have the learning but from work point of view when you work in a core company it it uh, the learning is faster that is what i feel okay the 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 opinion might differ but that is what i feel but as mega rightly pointed out that as an actual fresher 
you don't have so many options that you get your preferred location your preferred company your preferred pay and your preferred sector it's what comes to you okay so that that's that's very important okay so uh, can we transition from gi to life no palak uh, that's a straight no uh, that you you cannot okay it, it, like if you uh, are starting your career you can uh, try to uh, start with uh, maybe life or general if you don't like it you can switch in the first 2 to 3 months you will just get a general idea how the actual work is but the work is uh, quite different okay so once you gain some experience it's not possible to uh, change okay do attempts really matter for a paper like any yeah. other course ca and others mega this is for you am i audible uh, no. sorry to interrupt yeah yeah palak yes you can continue yeah actually i wanted to say that in the i just started my career a year ago so at that time i did not know which uh, which field of actuary i will be appointed to so uh, i was appointed to gi i work in ey as of now so i did not have experience then i was a fresher so now that i have gained some experience within gi so i am feeling that it is not for me i wanted to try the life side also so uh, that how is, many how uh, many months have you been working i have one year one year of experience one year okay okay so see you can you can definitely try to like i'll i'll not say uh, take a decision so prompt like i'll say first try to connect with the friends in the uh, life sector okay and i'll i'll help you with that okay i'll help you connect with some seniors those who have uh, spent 2 years 3 years 5 years you can just have a talk what work currently you are doing and how the life side is different have a good talk maybe with 5 to 6 persons and then take this decision because your previous experience i feel won't be counted if you change uh, to a new uh, domain okay 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 yeah. yeah thank you yeah mega the question was uh, do attempts really matter for a paper uh, like uh, uh, for like in ca first attempt second attempt in this course mm. do you feel people differentiate on the basis of that no i i never felt that in any of when ever you know i appear for interview or uh, whenever I, i had a discussion with anyone i never felt that attempts matter but of course you you know you would want to clear but yeah it, in in a simple answer it it doesn't really matter like once you go to a job the biggest motivation that this course provides you is the paper based increment right when you once you clear higher level papers the increment ranges from 1 lakh to 2 lakhs it 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 can go down to 50000 60000 i'm talking per annum to up to 2 uh, lakhs right so that's the biggest motivation so koi kuch nahi bolega but paisa kam jama hoga theek hai so ye ek cheez hai does age matter when applying for entry level jobs with three, no maruf age does not matter okay your work does and your knowledge does uh like mega have we answered this in terms of work what is the major difference uh between a consultancy company and a core company would you like to highlight so yeah essentially like i already told about the uh, core company it's about a 360 degree view that you get of the business and in a consultancy you know what happens you work in a particular segment let's say like in core uh, essentially so let's say in core uh, i was in pricing but in consultancy you are in reserving and the type of work differs a lot so the essential difference would be in an insurance company you are pricing for your own product that you're going to offer the insurance company is going to offer it's all internal it's just about your company and you have all the internal knowledge about your company the business you deal with the claims team it team so you know when you have to launch a product you need to get it launched under the system you have to deal with it team you have to set the claim boundaries etc you have to deal with claims team you have to deal with legal team to ensure that what is you know from a legal perspective can you put this exclusion or not other things and in a uh, core company you are essentially assisting in auditing of other insurance companies so that is the major difference that comes into picture rightly rightly like i am i am really impressed with the answer okay <laughs> so that coordination thing is uh, very rightly pointed out you need to connect with a lot of teams okay uh, like how to decide which specialization papers i am interested in I like i like to answer that uh shri priya you can go with sp2 and sp5 okay sp5 is investments and sp2 is life so that is a good combination instead of going with sp1 you can take sp5 
many students they do that okay and then you can have a taste of both the sps and then you can decide uh, whether to give ss7 or the life paper is there any age limit for doing job as an actually like what is the age limit mega mm, not surely like age mm -hmm. limit in terms of getting a job or like retiring from a job i guess it's uh, getting a job it's not that i should i got your point uh, no no age does not matter like maruf said the same question okay hello sir it, yeah yeah ishwarya i got it in getting the job actually no 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 uh, sir in my question only i had a doubt uh, like is there any paper which is specific to like uk exam or something like life pension or investment or everything is like general uh, which we can decide upon our choice no 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 like the whole content has been decided from the uk perspective only no like uh, if you see the material and everything we read the uk law like everything is from the uk if you see the paper of cb1 like we are not reading the indian law we are reading it from the uk perspective only uh, so will that affect our opportunity in india if we are doing any if the institute is not having its own resources then uh, like that is why the institute has collaborated with uh, acted and now they are uh, basically using their materials only because but see the point is you need to uh, have the right knowledge okay if you if you see from the bookish perspective i don't feel that everything is uh, applied in uh, what you study okay okay like so let's example, say huh. yeah so let's say as an example you know when you talk about regulations which come in most of the sp level papers of course you all you will have the uk regulations over there because you're in the same material even if you're appearing from iii but what you need to do is an extra effort over there that if you're appearing from iii or let's say you go for a uh, interview for an indian company or so you have to essentially learn about the external environment which is in india you have to read additional materials irda i is the you know the basically the authority and you have to you know might be go through their newsletters etc to develop your knowledge so that you can basically you know differentiate yourself in terms of the additional knowledge that you have about the indian industry so that helps but uh, so let's say if you are appearing from iii there's a con like there will be about lloyds etc a paper so if you are from iii you don't have to focus on lloyds part but you have to focus on ad additional other things which are related to the indian environment so yeah that is thank you so much yeah so the next question is does a candidate lose his chance if it's starting late with respect to age and see vipul i'd like to uh, answer this one of my students like i started my friends started in the second year one of my students neha banerjee she uh, started after college okay now we have students those who are of age 30 they are done their mba 5 years of work then they are starting like i don't see age matters okay so it's like i took i started in 2015 it's 2023 it's 8 years and counting i still need one year to complete the course but mega did it in 7 years someone did it in 5 years from our institute so it's all she mentioned it's all your timeline if you feel you need to do it you can do it okay मतलब मेरे सीटी फाइव एग्जाम में क्या हुआ था एक अंकल टाइप के आदमी आके बैठे थे तो इट्स टोटली फाइन ओके सो वी कैन नॉट एज एज से एंट्री का और उसका कोई भी वैसा कुछ भी नहीं है ठीक है ना वैसा लाइक कंसीडर माय आई 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 हैव जीरो नॉलेज इन द इंडस्ट्री ओके एंड आई हैव नो प्रॉब्लम इन सेइंग इट आई हैव नेवर वर्क सो इफ आई गो टुडे टू द इंडस्ट्री एम आई कंसिडर्ड लेट no i was doing my job i i i didn't feel like working i am quite content with uh, teaching students so that does not make me late i i'll get the salary of a fresher i need to take orders from my students so that's that's totally fine so it it does not matter age age, age does not matter okay yeah would you suggest a msc degree alongside uh taking act, like i'll not take any more queries because this i am taking from the chat uh would you suggest taking a msc degree alongside taking actual papers uh after bsc statistics 
like uh, take a job molly this is straight take a job i don't feel there is a point in taking an msc degree because this course has got all the things so aap ek additional degree le bhi loge but bahut zyada value creation nahi hoga okay mohit santali is asking does the salary can really go up to 1 crore it's a myth i i think this myth got busted a long time ago are you still uh, in this myth mohit santaliya the salary does go up but with lots and lots of experience okay once you become aa appointed actually in a company exactly arshia is having a question when should we start looking for jobs if we have just entered third year of college also should we try to land an actuarial based internship while we are in college so you can try essentially it'll depend upon your college timings so if you feel that you know because uh, generally i'm not sure if internships are you know kind of it might be it might require your full day internship or if that is, if you get a chance then of course you can go for it but you have to also ensure that it doesn't affect your studies a lot try to manage both effectively and so like i give my example like let's say i started searching after april 2019 and i landed around july 2019 so i started so yeah essentially one to months of preparations enough and to be honest nowadays you have a lot of opportunities so you know do give your like you have a lot of time to prepare and i think just immediately after your college end you can start with job and you should get it sooner okay. in today's time yeah. like one more thing that i would like to point out in this is uh someone talked about actual internship being very honest uh actual internship utna milta nahi hai theek hai na and agar milta bhi hai to bhi wo sales ka job aur wo sab sab karke koi matlab nahi hai theek hai na isme kya hota hai agar aapka college se agar aapka placement lag jata hai to well and good nahi to hum log hain basically we will definitely help you with the placement if you have got good amount of papers 4 to 5 5 is a good number like aaj ke din pe mere paas ek bhi cv nahi hai 2023 ग्रेजुएट जिसके पांच पेपर क्लियर है है तो सामने लेके आओ नहीं है एक भी सीवी नहीं है ठीक है ना करेंटली वी आर फोकसिंग ऑन प्लेसिंग स्टूडेंट्स विद थ्री पेपर्स ठीक है तो चार भी नहीं मिलेगा ठीक है तो ये सिनेरियो है आज का तो अगर आपके पेपर्स है नॉलेज है इंटरव्यू हम लोग करा के देंगे वी हैव गॉट वेरी गुड कॉपरेट कनेक्ट ठीक है ना अगर कॉलेज से लग जाता है तो बहुत अच्छा है डायरेक्ट जॉब लगता है वहां पर इंटर्नशिप नहीं होता है बट Uh, मतलब नहीं तो हम लोग हैं डोंट वरी अबाउट दैट ठीक है ना जॉब इज नॉट अ प्रॉब्लम आपको अपने स्किल सेट पे फोकस करना है एक जन बार बार पूछ रहे हैं कि स्किल सेट प्रोग्रामिंग डेफिनेटली इंपॉर्टेंट है मेरे हिसाब से सीक्यूएल वीबीए एडवांस एक्सेल एंड समवन मेंशन रिसेंटली दैट एडवांस बोलो कुछ भी नहीं होता है इट्स ऑल अबाउट एक्सेल ओके सो आपको एक्सेल अच्छे से आना चाहिए एडवांस इज जस्ट अ टर्मिनोलॉजी कॉइंट बाय पर्सन लाइक मी फॉर बूस्टिंग द सेल्स बट एडवांस बोल के कुछ भी नहीं होता इट्स लाइक एक्सेल ओके सो एक्सेल आना चाहिए uh, uh, आपको पाइथन अगर आप सीखना चाहते हो आर तो है ही कोर्स में आप एक डेटा विजुअलाइजेशन सीख लो जैसे कि आपका पावर uh, बी हो गया ठीक है ना दैट्स दैट्स कूल ओके हाँ एक एक जन और एक क्वेरी है बी uh, कॉम और बी कॉम ऑनर्स ऑब्वियसली ऑनर्स लेना है आपको बी कॉम मत ले लेना आई गेस यू आर पॉइंटिंग की मेगा नाव करेंटली uh, चार साल का हो गया जो आपका वो है सो so बेसिकली अगर कोई थर्ड ईयर में एग्जिट लेना चाहता है इट्स बी कॉम एंड अगर कोई फोर इयर्स के बाद एग्जिट लेता है इट्स बी कॉम ऑनर्स सो दैट इज आई डेफिनेटली एम फॉर बी कॉम ऑनर्स ठीक है ना तो वो चीज है कि आपको आगे कभी भी एम वगैरह करना हुआ तो डेफिनेटली कम्प्लीट इट ऑनर्स का और तो ऐसा कुछ भी नहीं है टेक्निकल स्किल्स सब एग्जांपल्स ऑफ कोर कंपनीज लाइक जितने भी लाइफ एंड जनरल इंश्योरेंस कंपनीज बेसिकली कोर और कंसल्टेंसी का फर्क ये हुआ कि एक कंपनी है जो इंश्योरेंस कंपनी है ठीक है जो खुद का काम करती है उसका एक खुद का एक्चुअल डिविजन है और एक है जो किसी कंपनी का काम करती है जैसे कि एक कंपनी है ईवाई जी या फिर राइट गो या फिर Uh, कोई भी ऐसी कंपनी जो दूसरों का काम करती है ठीक है ना जो बेसिकली आउटसोर्स वर्क करती है ठीक है उनका खुद का कोई uh, काम नहीं है वो दूसरों से बेसिकली क्लाइंट रिलेशनशिप पे काम करते हैं ठीक है सो दैट इज बेसिकली कंसल्टिंग एंड कोर ठीक है तो ये चीज है 
so that's it i guess a uh, lot of questions answered uh sir please ek din pooch raha tha tumhara salary kitna i'll <laughs> ye to bhai main nahi bata sakta theek hai to ye sorry but uh, itna samajh lo ki kafi acha hai theek hai so yes a ek aur hai uh, with so much volatility in the salaries of actuaries around the industry especially in india it becomes difficult to know how much to ask for with each year of experience in like what simple hai tisha like आप 20-30% हाइक मांगिए सामने वाला अपने आप बोलेगा कि इतना नहीं दे सकते इतना ही दे पाएंगे आप 12 लाख पे काम करो आप 30% परसेंट हाइक डिमांड करिए 20% परसेंट हाइक डिमांड करिए अगर आपको लगता है आप में वैल्यूडेशन हुआ है तो आप वही सेम हो आप कंपनी से मांगोगे वैल्यूडेशन तो वैसा नहीं होता है ठीक है ना एंड कंपनी शार्प है ठीक है आपका जो लास्ट ड्रॉन सैलरी होगा वो लोग ट्वेंटी परसेंट हाइक तो मोटा मोटी दे के ही आपको लाइक लाइन है ठीक है ना ट्वेंटी परसेंट एक स्टैंडर्ड है तो वो चीज है बट बहुत फ्रीक्वेंटली चेंज करना इज ऑल्सो नॉट अ गुड थिंग आई पर्सनली डोंट लाइक इट ओके सो स्टेबिलिटी समथिंग दैट इज वॉट नीडेड सो येस दैट्स इट एक और था सी एस वन का कुछ था मैं वो ले लेता हूँ फिर वो बच्चे गुस्सा हो जाते हैं कि मेरा नहीं लिया सर तो आई बिलोंग टू अर टू सिटी एंड डू नॉट कम फ्रॉम अ रेप्यूटेड कॉलेज और कॉलेज जिसका नाम बड़ा है ऐसा कुछ नहीं है श्रिया मानिक आप बस पेपर पे फोकस करिए Mega, what do you feel like uh, when you are doing actuaries? College does matter, right? Like college, to matter, करता ही है. I won't say it doesn't. It matters. It could, you know, matter while CV filtering, but it's not something that hard and fast. नहीं कि अगर आप इस college से हो तो ही आपका CV filtered होगा. If you have the right knowledge, there would be possibility that you know a very a person from very reputed college might not be able to impress the interviewers, and you might. That's about your skill set. so what you need to focus essentially is on on your skill set uh, understanding the papers learning the concepts etc so that's what essentially would help you but it's not anything ki if you're not from a reputed college you cannot get a job or you cannot get a decent job aisa bilkul nahi hai yeah because uh, like uh, in your uh, like colleagues also mega it's not that tier 2 people they are like we city, are so i am from assam a very small town in assam noga jahan pe people don't even know what actually is so you know essentially meko difficulty hota hai samjhane mein ki main kahan se hu main mujhe guwahati to fir bhi log samajh jate so tier to city doesn't matter i pursued so my 12th is from assam only from kendra vidyalaya i came for college over here so essentially you're learning a portuguese so us time pe even now you know calcutta is kind of hub for it like as pravindra mentions in india is a hub for it so it helps you in knowing about the opportunities the right guidance so but nowadays everything has turned into online you can take online tuitions etc so it doesn't really affect that part so much now so yes the matlab aisa kuch bhi nahi hai ki aap tier 2 se hai to chote shaharon se kamal ho raha hai aajkal bade mein to khali naam ka hai aisa kuch bhi nahi hai आप देख लीजिए आपके सामने एग्जांपल है वैसा कुछ भी नहीं कि टीयर टू है तो क्या हुआ ऐसा कुछ भी नहीं आपको सिर्फ और जब तक मैं पढ़ा रहा हूं तब तक वैसा कुछ भी नहीं है कि सुनना तो बहुत कुछ आप सिर्फ हमारा एडवाइस फॉलो कीजिए ऐसा कुछ भी नहीं है पेपर में अगर अच्छा नंबर आ रहा है स्किल सेट है तो जॉब पक्का मिलेगा हमारी गारंटी है ठीक है सो यस विल एंड दिस एंड थैंक यू मेगा फॉर ज्वाइनिंग अस it was thank yes you, riya sir. riya has raised the hand like riya kuch sir i did by mistake sorry okay no problem no problem yes thank you so much and yes aise hi hai dekh lijiye bahut normal log hain theek hai and isi tarike se aap log sab hamare sessions attend karte rahiye and iska video main dalunga ai forums mein taki jo log aaj ka session attend nahi kar pa rahe hain वो लोग इसको रिकॉर्डिंग में देखेंगे थैंक यू सो मच मेगा फॉर ज्वाइनिंग अस मेरे को पता है कि आप लोग के यहाँ पर आवरली वाइज होता है ठीक है तो मतलब बड़ा थैंक यू सो मच दिस वाज एन ऑनर फॉर मी ऑफ कोर्स ऐसा तो हमारा तो... आप आए बहुत अच्छा लगा मतलब एक घंटा पूरा निकालना बहुत बड़ा चीज है ठीक है अगर मेगा भी काम कर रही होती थी मस्ट है बट ओके ओके सो थैंक यू सो मच ओके थैंक यू एवरी वन थैंक यू एवरी वन लोगों का कल मॉक है सब लोग पढ़ लीजिए ठीक है थैंक यू थैंक यू सो मच एवरी